Yo guys, RVP here, Ryan Van Puderoin, and uh, here's my drum kit for the Shadow Circus session at Hipposonic Studios in beautiful Vancouver, BC. Um, we're recording in the main room, which is actually a very historic room, guys. Uh, this room is where albums like the Black Album from Metallica, uh, Dr. Feelgood from Motley Crue, and a whole bunch of other massive famous bands have recorded over the years. Um, but yeah, let's go over my drum setup quickly, okay? Um, I'm not going to talk about the mics because that's more for JVP, my brother, who's uh, recording me. Uh, we're a team, and uh, he gets me the best drum sounds I've ever gotten. So I'll let him discuss that on a, on a different video if he does one. Uh, so what are we recording with? We are recording with... Sonar SQ2 custom made drums. Uh, Sonar built me two of these kits. Um, have one in North America and one waiting for me in England whenever I'm allowed to resume touring after COVID is over. Um, so let's uh, go through the setup here, guys. The setup that I have is uh, we'll start with the snare drum, my favorite snare of all time. Seriously, it's called a Sonar Artist Bronze. It's a one piece custom made uh, bronze snare drum and the best snare I've ever played in my life. Um, the kick drums, those are 22 by 18 and all of the drums, the toms, the kick drums, except for the snare, are made of uh, Sonar's vintage maple shells, which are incredible. They sound amazing. Again, favorite drums I've ever played and owned. Uh, that's an eight inch tom. Then we go to a 10 inch tom, 12 inch tom, 14 inch by my hi-hats and snare. And then last we have this 16 inch uh, floor tom. All of them sound incredible. I have an array of Sabian cymbals that I love. Um, we'll go over those. This is a HHX Ozone Evolution Crash. Then I go to my favorite China ever, the Holy China. This is a custom um, power bell ride that Sabian made for me. They actually made two of them. I have one in Europe as well. Went for me for touring. Uh, it's 21 inch. They, uh, thinned it out here in the bow. And then, uh, you know, that massive bell to get awesome sounds out of. I love that ride. Uh, this is a 20 inch HHX explosion crash. Uh, for this session, I wanted to use a couple different splashes. I got a ton to choose from, but I'm using AAX, the only AAX symbol in my lineup, actually. It's a 12 inch splash, radio chime bell. Then we got a 10 inch HHX evolution splash. We got an 18 inch HHX explosion crash. These hi hats are absolutely gorgeous, and that is. The 14 inch HHX Evolution hats, uh, another very, very famous China symbol. That is a 19 inch Paragon, Neil Peart signature China. That is my second favorite China of all time. It sounds incredible. And lastly, I'm using a 14 inch HHX Evolution China. Um, as for heads, I'm endorsed with Evans. And by the way, these are all my endorsements, Sabian, Sonar, Evans, Regal Tip. I'll go through them all. But um, yes, I use Evans drum heads and I am using, let's start with the toms. All the toms are G2 clears, okay? And on the bottom, they're uh, Evans resonant heads. That's what they're called. Uh, for the snare drum, I'm using the G2 coated for this session. Underneath, I'm using a Hazy 300. And then uh, for the kick drums, I am using EMAD 2s for the kick drums. Uh, as you can see, they have the padding there and they sound amazing. Moving on to pedals. Um, I use Trick Pro 1V Bigfoot pedals. They're amazing, they're direct drive and they kick a ton of ass. And I've used them for the past 10 years. I love those pedals. All the hardware and stuff is sonar except for this rack. Uh, which is a Pearl DC 503 uh, custom made rack that I have. Got some custom pieces. So as you can see, the one bar there going across the front, um, it usually with double bass kits, 
you have to have a couple bars, but uh, Pearl, when I was endorsed with them back in the day, altered it for me and, and made it so you only have the one bar going across the front, which is pretty cool. Um, you know what else? If you look inside the kick drums, uh, it's a little hard to see, but you can see it there. That's the Kelly shoe mounting system, okay? And uh, they're amazing. They're in both kick drums. You leave your mics in there. You never have to take them out. What an amazing setup. Highly recommend that for your kick drums. I am endorsed with Audio Technica for live mics. Obviously, in the studio, we use a whole bunch of different stuff. Again, JVP will be able to tell you more about that stuff. Um, I'm endorsed with Hard Case Cases. They're amazing. They've put up with a lot of touring over the years that I did with Devin Townsend Project and now Monolith. Um, I use the drum dial to tune my drums and then I fine tune from there. They don't tune them for me, but you, they get you in the ballpark really fast and uh, they're awesome. And uh, I use Alesis Electronics if I ever need them. Great company. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything. Uh, that's my setup and what I'm using for this recording. And for most recordings I do, but I definitely change it up. Uh, depending on the gig and the genre of music. So there it is, guys. The RVP setup for Shadow Circus recording at Hipposonic Studios in Vancouver, BC. Later.